Okay, guys, let's take on the Kimono Girls. So after running into them all over Johto, they finally reconfigured back into their little uh, dance studio here. And now they want to battle us to see if we're worthy of actually seeing ho -Oh. You know, all these tests, all these tests. And then there's prompt there. It says, are you sure you want to battle us? Of course I'm sure. I want to see ho -Oh, don't I? Ooh, I like that. It's a cool effect. Now I actually don't know what order they go in. Okay, so Umbreon first. So I'm just, I basically just took a shot in the dark here. Uh, but yeah, all these tests. Uh, oh, are you pure? Gotta be tested by the, the Dragon Masters. And oh, I don't know if you're worthy of seeing ho -Oh. Jeez. I'm not sure I have to prove to you people. Seriously. Sup. When fighting Umbreon, I suggest using a fighting type Pokemon. I just don't feel like switching out. Actually, I don't even think that I have any good fighting type moves. To be honest with you. Ah, Dark Pulse. Much stronger than the Umbreon in Gold and Silver. Okay, so we took down Shelter. And we will actually go with Typhlosion. Kick some ass, Typhlosion. I just realized that I made a vital mistake. I actually left my Gyarados in my team from the past episode, so now I have kind of a, I don't know, a useless Pokemon. I don't want to say useless, but useless in this case, because I, I, I did not train my Red Gyarados. Okay, so now the next one will come up. Okay, you can beat Umbreon, but how about me? Let's see what she has. Espeon, big surprise. Oh, okay, that actually works out really well. I hope that Hayes has speed again. It's good. Couldn't tell really well, I guess, because of the level difference, he would. Alright, well that was easy. <laughs> yeah, so use Ghost Type or Dark Type moves on Espeon. I could have theoretically used an Umbreon for that, which I do have my Umbreon. Now we fight the next one. Who will it be? That's the fun part about playing Heart Gold in Japanese. You never know what Pokemon's coming up next. Flareon! Alright then. Use a Shadow Ball. You know, I always thought it'd be really cool if they added in two more, uh, two more Kimono Girls for Leafeon and Glaceon. But, I mean, the only way that you can get those two is by leveling up your Eevee. Uh, you know, if you wanted a Glaceon, you have to level it up by that rock near Snow Point. And if you wanted a Leafeon, you had to level it up by that green rock in Eterna Forest. I was just wondering if they were going to bring any of that over into Johto. But I suppose not. Because there's no area for you to evolve your Magneton into a... Uh... Wow. I can't believe the name is slipping in. Uh, yeah. Huh. Okay, wow. Complete and total mind blank. What is the next evolution after Magneton? Oh, Magnezone. Jeez. I'm supposed to be an expert at Pokemon, and I couldn't know that evolution. Egypt. Just haven't been using Magnezone in a while. Used to Johto and Kanto Pokemon at this point. Uh, yeah, but. There's no area for you to evolve Magnezone or uh, Provo Pass, which I think that they were both evolved when you level up in Mount Cornet. So they didn't add anything like that in Johto. It's a shame, but whatever. Uh, well, do we want to learn a new move? I don't know. No, we don't. I said we don't want to learn a new move. Okay, there we go. Guess I'm quite happy with my moves as they are. Okay. 
Okay, I think this is, yeah, this will be the final one. And this should be a Vaporeon. Obviously, grass and electric types will work very well against them. And I have Thunderbolts. They're nice. Let's see. Did you kill it? Oh, uh, so close. No! Okay. You know what? Let's pit Evolution against Evolution. Send out my Umbreon. Okay, so I got... We're lucky on that one. Vaporeon flinched. And we gained a level. Very nice. She says we're worthy, and I believe she gives us the clear bell. Oh, jeez. What was that? Oh, no. Something's going down. Something's going down at the tin tower. I mean, bell tower. What? I really do not like... That's really cool. I didn't know they danced when they were on stage. <laughs> yeah, but I, I do not like that name change that they gave to the Tin Tower. Bell Tower? Are you kidding me? It's like Sprout Tower. Okay, now we show this guy. We know our stuff, man. We're worthy of seeing ho -Oh. Stop talking and let us through. Yeah, that's right. Better. I remember in the original Gold and Silver, the guy who used to stand there, you know, there wasn't that nice little doorway for him to just be in one block. He kept, like, moving back and forth. I really like what they did back here. This looks awesome. Okay, guys. So, on the next episode, we will be climbing the Tin Tower. I don't care if it's the Bell Tower in English version now. I'm still calling it the Tin Tower. Alright, see you then, guys.